My goodness, look at this. I think this is the first 3D Gaussian selfie, perhaps. Unless the creators or someone else has made one I haven't seen. Um, I just thought this was really cool. But look at the quality of the scene. I mean, as I'm moving around, you got that cool parallax because you know this is a volumetric scene. And like, look at the details of this building. Look at myself. I'm a little out of focus here, but like, that's because I had a little bit of movement. But just scoot over here. Ah, oh, that looks crispy. You can even see like my like the veins in my legs. Um, the background looks good. I can see the, like the bike back there, the box truck. Um, this is this is ridiculous, and I'm moving around this in real time, so that's cool. And I I'm still trying to figure out how to like really use this viewer. Um, I'm not the best at it, but um, here we go. I'm kind of doing my two hand move around, and from certain angles I was moving probably a little bit back and forth, but. And this stuff looks amazing. Um, and um, I'm getting better at figuring out how to to navigate this this viewer um, and just just get the, the best views. But this looks really good. So let's just kind of move around the scene a little bit. Even with the splats, I pick up some of that like camera lens flare that was in the source video. No surprise. Um, and yeah, so like, look at this. The stops, I can read the stop sign clear. I can read that that's a do not enter sign way back there. I can see the MU from Oregon State University. Um, so cool. This is also clear. Um, this is the beauty of how this technology works. Um, and again, that's Weatherford University. That's where I met my wife. That's like something I always like to remember. So it's cool to capture it this volumetrically. Um, also, shout out to Eric Weaver who found me because of that building back there. Um, just uh, it's cool that that you get this and. Um, I, I see there's a lot of benefits of this technology compared to nerfs, and there's a lot of reasons why um, it's inferior or superior. So I, I'm really ex excited to dive into that when I have time. I did re record a lot of this over the weekend. It's the, um, you know, uh, as we as we get more of this posted, um, I'm refining the guide. But just excited to share these little bits and pieces as I've recorded this stuff. And um, if you're interested in this, just follow me. Um, wherever you're seeing this, I would say follow it on, on YouTube where I'll probably be putting the long form content because I can't post the long form stuff on LinkedIn. But, uh, yeah, this is my weekend project. Hope that's cool. Hope you guys like this and, uh, this will be a really cool nerf alternative. Oh, one last thing. If you're still watching this thing, just to show you these splats, I can, I can like re reduce their size. So you can actually see they're just like a bunch of these overlapping splats. It's almost like, uh, if you can see my thing, it's almost like these little ellipsoids that are in 3d. And then when they overlap each other with these, you know, transparency values and color radiances, it just makes the scene. And it's just, it's just magic how that works. Um, it's like one giant optical illusion to make up the scene. Um, pretty cool. I hope they, I can explain how this all works soon as I'm and myself wrapping my head around it. But here we go. Our first 3D Gaussian splat selfie. I don't know if it's a selfie since my wife took the video, but here we go.